Hi everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Frank Billingsley. A few clouds out there. Been watching for some rain on the way on the eastern part of southeast Texas off toward Beaumont. We've had a few showers, but generally for us on the dry side and the warm side, 86, 84 in Katy, 83 in Hobby, 79 in Galveston. These temperatures are going to continue to be right there in the 80s for the afternoon, 70s overnight, and temperatures really don't change a whole lot tomorrow. 84 for a high again, so it stays on the warm side all the way through. Here's a look at the satellite and radar. And you can see across Texas, it's quiet. This is what we've been watching that moved through the Dallas area yesterday. Dropped a lot of hail there, and that continues to move along. So on the east side here, a shower or two. This doesn't look like much off here in Arizona, but that's what we're going to have to watch for Wednesday. That system's going to continue to slide in our direction. So tomorrow's just warm and mostly sunny. We get to Wednesday and look at that front that starts to form. That's 730 in the morning right down I-35 from Dallas to Austin and San Antonio. So that's 730 on Wednesday. Once we get into the afternoon, and of course the Shell Houston Open is going to be kicking off, and we're going to be covering it on Wednesday, but some storms through the afternoon and the evening hours until that front finally gets out of here. So here's a close-up of Wednesday. This is 7 in the morning on Wednesday. A few showers, especially on the west side. That's about it in the morning. Once we get into the afternoon, we start to see this line of storms coming toward the Houston area continues at three and then it's uh, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock continues right through seven and then eight and even nine. So really a three to nine for the Houston area afternoon and evening is the biggest concern that we have. As far as rain amounts, you can see we're printing out two and three inches pretty easily, especially north of I-10, but we're still a ways away. We can see those kind of totals south of I-10 as well, but that's where it looks like the biggest threat is for heavy rain. But strong winds as that front comes through, some severe thunderstorms with 50 to 60 mile an hour winds, isolated tornadoes, large hail, inch plus in diameter, the downpours, and certainly some flooding possible for those low lying roads. So Wednesday, 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 that's the day to watch. Enjoy your evening, just a slight chance for a sprinkle through six o'clock, and then a warm one as we go into the overnight. A little breezy out there for tonight's hair cast, but not bad. Here's the full seven and 10 days tomorrow, 84 and 70 on Wednesday, 80% chance for those showers and storms. Once we get to Thursday morning, I think we're really in the clear. There's a 20% chance for a lingering shower, but it's really Wednesday. Shell Houston open should have some nice days, but then another system is headed our way for Sunday, late Sunday into Monday. 50 and 70% chances for rain on those uh, days, and those could bring in some strong thunderstorms as well. So a couple of big opportunities for springtime storms. You can get all of your weather for all of this anytime right here at clicktohouston.com slash weather.